Hi, everybody. Welcome back. That was awesome. Thank you to Bianca for introducing us to Mai Tai. That was incredible. We have our guest, Danielle Moore, here. She is an expert in essential oils, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about what you can do with essential oils to shift your mood and change how you're feeling. Hi, Danielle. Thank you for coming. Thanks, please. <laughs> so we've had a lot of change in our lives and we thought we would dedicate this segment into how we could incorporate something into our daily lives to embrace change and move through change and we know that you know a lot about that so we thought we'd ask you what you use the essential oils for what your go-to's are on your daily life and get a little intro into how we could incorporate them into ours okay so with the oils I use them and have used them in the last year to support my body through the changes. Okay. Um, I'm one of the people, and I think there's a lot of us who change doesn't always mean a good thing. Mm. I like change makes me nervous. Change makes me feel like I'm out of control. Yeah. And let's be honest, this last year we have been. Yeah. Right. These are, these have been changes we've all had to adapt to that is beyond our control. So being a mom of young ones who don't understand why their grandparents stopped coming around, why they were pulled from school or daycare, they, why they couldn't go to the park anymore. So we've reached for these oils daily to support us and help us just, you know, navigate these changes. So it's as if it was part of a routine. It's something you would do every day, like you would get up and brush your teeth and wash your face. You're using these oils? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These are like a part of us. So actually with that, Lee, grab your peppermint oil. Okay. I'm so lucky I have these here with me. It's great, thank you. So a great thing with the oils and why I reach for oils over anything synthetic to support us um is because in so 22 seconds the molecule the molecules will reach your brain in two minutes they are found in the bloodstream and in 20 minutes the they will affect every cell in your body so when you're speaking synthetic you're speaking about something that you would get off a shelf or where something off the shelf at oh, yeah. shopper's drug mart or like something like that like okay let's be honest if my kid broke one of the kids broke their arm, I'm not gonna try and repair it with an oil. Okay. Right? <laughs> so like, I'm not disregarding medication or anything like that, but something daily, I want a natural support. So if you take a drop of peppermint in your hand, I do this every morning. Just one quick drop, yep, just like that. There you go. And take three deep breaths or deep inhales. It's strong. Whoa, that's one drop? Wow. One drop, one drop is equivalent to 27 cups of peppermint tea. Like that's how pure it is. Oh my goodness, wow. Yeah, so, and the thing is um, with the oils, a drop in your hands and three deep inhales allows you to immediately connect to that oil, to the message that it wants to share with you, to um, how it wants to connect and support your body. And yeah, like, so you're saying that's what that, I do. That's what I do first thing in the morning. I reach so for peppermint saying, oil and I'm like, so the, the scent goes right to somewhere in your head, the back of your head, your mind, where is it going? It invigorates you. Ah, okay. And a lot of people, even in the morning, they'll take like, if it's on their thumb and just push it to the roof of their mouth. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. oh. yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. The different ways you can use them. So there are three ways to use essential oils. We all know um, aromatically in a diffuser. Okay. Um, topically, usually with a carrier oil on like a certain problem area and internally based on the brand. Okay, so you say carrier, so you mean in a cream, a lotion? Yeah, I would do, yeah, coconut oil is my go-to. Okay. Um, a non-scented lotion, I've done it with kids diaper cream like oh. baby bum stuff that is unscented okay um i've even <laughs> when i've run out of coconut oil done it with olive oil okay. right right, <laughs> yeah, in yeah. right in the kitchen yeah oh. yeah right because oh. all it does it's gonna dilute, dilute it a little bit but it's gonna help it spread 
uh, right. goes a little further. So you don't need, yeah, so you don't need to use as much. Okay. And now, okay. So the last year we have all gone through a lot of changes beyond our control, like we were saying. Um, and these oils that we're going to talk about are my favorites to support the body through these changes. Okay. So wild orange. Okay. Let's take a smell. Like it's honestly delicious. It's a mood booster. Ah. Yes. Right? Um, all the citrus oils are happy oils. Okay. So it smells like fruit, like fresh fruit yeah at the same time like yeah fruit. yeah so it's pure wild orange okay pure wild yeah. orange. yeah so you could add it in water for your digestive system delicious um so yeah wild orange is known as the oil of abundance and it addresses a wide variety of emotional issues it inspires abundance fosters creativity and it supports a positive mood so my go-to morning diffuser blend, peppermint, wild orange. Okay. Hello, good morning. Yeah, <laughs> um, right. <laughs> Let's start the day on the right foot. It's beautiful. The kids love it and everything. Yeah, so what it does is the wild orange um, to support our body through change is it invites us to let go of whatever we're holding on to. Okay. Right, so like within the last year, um, worry, stress, sadness, stuff like that and it allows us to completely let go of it to connect with our inner child and oh. just feel feelings of joy playfulness abundance spontaneous when you say inner child that actually reminds me of playtime happy time all of that yeah it actually it's funny that you say that because it always reminds me of like being younger um playing baseball and having the orange slices after <laughs> there's always <laughs> Yeah. Always the parents on the team had to bring orange slices or something. Absolutely. So, yeah. So yeah. it takes me back to that time, which is funny that you said that. So it's a little bit nostalgic to, to smell these oils. Yeah, totally. Hmm. Um, okay, my next favorite that I don't think I would have survived the last year with a hoot is adaptive. Okay. So you, yeah. So just oh, so good. Is there lavender in this? there's a little bit ah. um but so the way i describe it is it gives me freedom breaks from the chaos worry and anxious feelings so like i've told people before it's honestly a vacation for my brain ah. right and the really cool thing about this oil is it was designed specifically for mental health okay Right. So yeah, it's really interesting because it's actually it works with the GABA of the brain. Mm -hmm. So the GABA is the neuro or is like a well not like it is a neurotransmitter that our brain makes naturally to promote feelings of peace, calmness, relaxation. But unfortunately, some of us don't make enough on our own. Oh. Mm -hmm. I yeah. Wish so I could smell this right now. It's delicious. It's so good. Yeah. So Wonderful. by working with the GABA of the brain it um it decreases activity in your nervous system okay. so stress anxiety fear all the things we've been feeling this last year and it makes room for those feelings of peace calmness relaxation okay so this is actually one that i mean i'll do it again i'll just mix them all in my hand i rub over my heart before bed every single night oh, right okay. yeah and then i take the rest and during the day at night whenever your hair is your cheapest diffuser. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah, it is. And then you just sell it all day that. long. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a really good one. Yeah. Like I said, roll it over your heart at night and it just makes way for those feelings of calm to come in. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, then, of course, it smells good. So we just have a couple of minutes left. Can we just go through a couple that we have left? Let's do, you know what, the cheer is self-explanatory. Yes. It is happy. It is just, yeah. Oh, it is. The kids love that one. If they're upset, if they're crying, they ask for the happy oil. And oh. that's the one they want. Oh, well, that's amazing. Yeah, they love it. It's like candy. It is. It's so good. It's like sweet and spicy. Yeah. Um, but you have a sample there of black spruce. Okay. So just quickly, we'll talk about it. It is honestly like walking in a sunny forest. And like the 
well, I mean trees, they're in the ground. So this one helps keep you grounded and rooted. Okay. So, you know, when you're those anxious feelings that come with change and like, you know, the unknown, this will just bring you down. Rub it on the bottoms of your feet oh. at night during the day. Yeah. Oh, I it's, love that. Yeah. Before a yoga class. Oh, I love it. Ground you into your mat. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So black spruce and grapefruit are actually my favorite diffuser blend. The two of them together because it's uplifting and grounding, which we all need this year. Right. Great. You we all need happy. a little happy. Just even having all these scents in the room are making me feel so calm and happy and grounded and just lifts my spirit so much, just smelling all of them together even. Yep, 100%. Like it's immediate. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, like, right? They just work immediately and they're not masking something. They're not taking something away for a few minutes. They are working with your body to wow. support it and just change how you feel and how you go about things. So yeah, those... This has been my 2020 like I love it. aid kit, pretty much. So we've had some wild orange and adaptive black spruce, <laughs> grapefruit, cheer, love cheer, um, and mint. They've been all so wonderful. And it's been great learning from you, Danielle. And we absolutely will have to try these in our everyday lives. It's so... Um, I don't know, revitalizing and it did shift me and it does make me feel better right away. I want to thank Bianca and Danielle for joining us today. It was wonderful learning how to move our bodies a little bit and then to lighten our senses or inspire our senses with these essential oils. We like to close every show with a message and this message is from Maya Angelo and it's if you can't change it, change your attitude. So there's lots of things you can embrace and you can welcome into your lives. And we've introduced you to a few of those today. Thank you so much for being with us and have a wonderful day in this spring and this weather and maybe breathe in some sense. Thank you.